The Ziggy series is a new approach to early level road safety, which brings real situations to life by Road Safety Scotland and Safer Scotland. Meet Ziggy, a little alien who's come all the way from planet Cosmos with one mission in mind, to learn how to go safe. Join Ziggy and his new family, the Walkers, Mum, Andrew and Maggie, as they introduce Ziggy to a new world of cars, curbs and strange looking lollipops. Follow his adventures and soon you'll know to hold hands, wait, look and listen every time you cross. It's time to go safe. Ziggy and Maggie Start School by Linda Kennedy and Lynn Taylor. Shout Zaba ding a doo to Ziggy. It's time for him to go back to his own planet. So let's make sure he knows how to go safe. It's only a few days until the start of the new school term. Maggie and Ziggy can't wait to start school. Maggie is going to be a big primary one and Ziggy's going to be a big Nanu Nini Nana. That's what they call primary one on Ziggy's planet, you see. I wonder what they call primary two. There's still a lot to do before school starts. We'd better make a list to take to the shops, says Mum, and spreads a big piece of paper on the table. Can you remember all the things you need for starting school? It's time to go shopping. Andrew, Maggie and Ziggy climb into their car seats. Ziggy is really going to miss his special seat. He takes a picture with his magic watch so that he can show his friends back home. They won't believe that all the kids on earth get their own special car seat. Lucky things. Mum straps everyone in securely with their seat belts. There's a lot of traffic today, says Ziggy. Traffic, smiles Mum. Great word, Ziggy. When I first came here, I didn't even know what traffic was, smiles Ziggy proudly. I've always known about traffic, says Maggie. Traffic is cars and buses and lorries and vans and trucks and more lorries and, and well, I probably knew what traffic was before I was even born. Maggie knew what everything was before she was born, Andrew says, giving Ziggy a nudge. Mum stops at a red traffic light. Jasmine and her daddy are standing with their bikes waiting to cross the road. They're waiting for the green man to come on, smiles Ziggy. The shopping centre is really busy and everyone cheers when Mum eventually finds a parking space. Andrew, Maggie and Ziggy wait until Mum comes round to open the door for them. Now, what do we have to remember about car parks? asks Mum. That it takes ages to find a parking space, mutters Maggie cheekily. Car parks are just funny shaped roads, says Ziggy. So we always have to hold hands and keep looking and listening for cars. That's right, says Mum. I knew that, says Maggie. I'm nearly in primary one, you know. The shopping centre is huge. Ziggy likes the supermarket. But the best bit of all is the row upon row of big, fat, juicy cabbages. Ziggy wishes he could jump in and gobble them all up. Yummy! It's the first day of term. Andrew and Maggie both look very smart in their school uniforms. The family walk to school together. Ziggy can't believe that this time tomorrow he'll be starting school too. Zaban ding a doo. Ziggy and Maggie help Mum and Andrew find a safe place to cross. This is a good place to cross, says Maggie, because we can see the traffic coming and the traffic can see us. And we have to use our ears too, says Ziggy, to make sure we can hear the traffic coming. My two wee geniuses, laughs Mum. Now stay well back from the curb and hold hands until it's safe to cross. 
I think Kerbs are really clever, says Ziggy, taking a picture with his magic watch. You do? says Maggie, thinking that sometimes Ziggy is quite a strange little alien indeed. Kerbs are like the pavement's way of saying stop without having to write stop all the way along the edge of the road. Ziggy zaps his watch again and this time it projects the word stop all along the pavement. Andrew gasps, you're right Ziggy, it would take someone a zillion years to write stop on the side of every road. And how silly would it be to do that, says Maggie. Primary ones can't even read yet. Everyone looks up and down the road to check that there's no traffic coming. Then they check again. The road is clear, so it's safe to cross. And what do we always have to do when we cross the road? Hold hands, look for traffic and listen for traffic. Ziggy gives Maggie and Andrew a big kiss at the school gate. Have a zab a ding a do first day, Maggie, says Ziggy. And you have a dab a fingy do last day, says Maggie, not getting it quite right. I'll try, mumbles Ziggy with a lump in his throat. He's going to miss his earth family so much. Ziggy takes Mum's hand and they head home. That was very clever, what you said about Kerbs this morning, says Mum, trying to cheer Ziggy up. But Kerbs tell us to stop without any words. Ziggy smiles and thinks for a moment. Like Cuddles say I love you without any words. Just like that, says Mum, and cuddles Ziggy tightly. Mum has organised a tea party after school for Ziggy. Andrew, Maggie and Jasmine are enjoying tucking into cheese sandwiches and Granny Walker's special crispy cakes. And Ziggy is enjoying tucking into cabbage sandwiches and cabbage cakes. Yum, 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 yum. Mum tells everyone to gather round and hands Ziggy an enormous box with a huge bow. We're going to really miss you, Ziggy, says Maggie, wiping a big tear from her eye. Me too said Ziggy, but I've been working on a surprise of my own. I phoned my daddy earlier and he's set up a website for me so we can play games together and keep in touch. Zabba digga do, shrieks Maggie. I think you've learned everything you need to know now, Ziggy, says Mum, squeezing Ziggy tightly. And Maggie's learned something very important, very, very important too, says Ziggy very seriously. Oh, says Mum, what's that? Ziggy roars with laughter. How to say Zabba ding a do. Ziggy can't believe his eyes when he looks inside his present. Mum has given him his car seat. Zabba ding a do, squeals Ziggy. Now I'll have a special seat like the rocket captains. Zabba ding a do waves Ziggy as he gets ready to go into his rocket. Remember to go safe every time you cross. We will, chorus the kids, and we'll go safe too, Ziggy. Zabba ding a do. Hiya, that's six Ziggy books we've read now, so you should know how to go safe and how to cross the road safely. Remember, if you're going out at night as well, wear something nice and bright so that the traffic can see you. We've made a board game with our lollipop and our traffic lights. And you could even make a giant lollipop. You could stick lots of kitchen rolls or something together and have a look in your recycling. Ask your adult. You could maybe use a big one and say, Stop! Out of my bedroom. No one allowed. And you could make yourself into a green man or a red man and get someone to draw around you. Lots and lots of giggling allowed. Colour yourself in green or red, whichever one you like. And remember your toes and remember how you're standing. If you're walking like the green man, but you're standing still like the red man. So we hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed the quiz. And I don't think you would have needed to cheat because I think you would have known all the answers. And I hope you had a lot of fun. So take care and go safe. Bye.